Hey, what's up? Welcome to Time Walk TV. My name is Ron, and I know I'm wearing a blue shirt today with a blue background, but that's okay, because today we're playing the Magic 2020 event, and we have a sweet Esper Hero deck lined up for you. Got a little spice sprinkled in there, so let's go and take a look. All right, welcome into Arena. We have the Esper deck lined up, ready to go. Let's go and take a look and see what makes this deck work. First and foremost, we have Hero of the Precincts 1 to drop 2-2 two, two, that when you cast a multicolored spell, you get a 1-1 one, one token. And you can bet that we have a bunch of multicolored spells in this deck. Pretty standard stuff. Um, this deck will be, you know, moving on past rotation. It's going to be really good because all the Ravnica cards in Azorius and Demir just fit in here so well that uh, the shell is still going to be around. The man is not going to be so great. It's going to be a little shaky, but I'm sure some people will make it work uh, either with 12 shock lands, 8 shock lands, a bunch of tap lands. I've opted for a bunch of tap lands, so we'll see how slow this is and hopefully we don't get run over too bad. But, you know, we have our Thought Erasures, Tyrant Scorns, Oath of Kaya's, our Teferi's, of course, um, and our Guard Mages. There's our Narsets, um, Legion's End, uh, basically this is for like all the Field of the Dead uh, Gates deck that's running around. Can't really handle when they make a bunch of tokens really, really quickly. So this will be able to help us catch up and, you know, take the win sometimes if we can build our board up high enough. Uh, we have one Mortify. What else we got here? Oh, I added a Soren. I did have uh, zero Soren and then I added a Soren because I wanted to buy back my hero sometimes and the life gain on all the tokens is actually pretty sweet we have our three nar sets um, i added an enter the god eternals because i want the life gain it's a good removal spell and it makes a good sized creature so that's gonna be pretty cool two bola citadels that's pretty common nowadays uh, the cool little spice that i've added to this deck is the karn the great creator package i guess you could call it since it's the best of one the setup this will allow me to go into my sideboard and get a bunch of really cool spells. We'll look at those in just a second here. But we have three Karns. I cut one Karn to add a Soren. I thought Soren was more impactful sometimes in some certain games. You know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, here's the sideboard. Just a smattering of artifacts that we probably don't need at all because we're really only going to get a few of them. But Bag of Holding, not that great. Just draw some cards. Graph Digger's Cage, I don't know if there's anything that brings creatures back. Maybe there's a reanimator deck, because Blue Black has that reanimator package. That could be really cool. Same with the claws here. You can go get the claws. I like the Blood Soaked Altar a lot because we can discard a card, pay two life, and sacrifice one of our tokens that we made to make a 5-5 demon to kind of go over the top. That's kind of cool. Bolas' Citadel is an artifact, so Karn can go grab it from the sideboard, and that's really, really cool. Because this card makes our deck just go crazy because we have a bunch of life gain and it's just crazy it's just crazy uh scrolling down a little bit here god pharaoh statue this is what you normally see in these kind of card decks um i just threw four in here because why not if you get one and then you get a second one kind of locks them out of the game as you keep getting them um pings them for one life or i guess they lose one life so that's kind of cool but uh feeder golem just some more removal in the sideboard not really sure if we need it but here is my favorite card, the big monster truck itself, the Parhelion 2, the seven, six, seven, eight drop. That's right, eight mana for a 5-5 five, five flying first strike Vigilance. So when it attacks, make two 4-4 four, four angels that have Vigilance and they're attacking already. So if you get into a board stall where you're making a bunch of tokens, your opponent's making a bunch of tokens or creatures or something, it's kind of a board stall on the ground. Let's go fetch up your, your old pal Parhelion and take to the skies and smash them down in two shots. So, <laughs> love this card. Uh, it's so overcosted that it will probably never see play in actual standard. So, I might as well get it done right now. Or when Brawl comes out, we're going to be playing a lot of this card. But this is my favorite card and I cannot wait to go grab it. I'll probably grab it almost every time, to be honest, because... If you can crew this sucker, you're going to win the game. That is hands down the truth. So let's go and jump into some games, see if we can fetch up Parhelion and uh, just crush some nerds. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at this hand we have here for game number one. Well, it doesn't look too bad, honestly. We got uh, Gain Life Land, Shock Lands, 
We have a removal spell early into an R set that will find us hopefully more removal. So that's pretty cool. Bolo Citadel, don't really like seeing that in my opening hand, but you know, it's not too bad. So we'll keep seven and we're on the play. It's pretty good. We can play our Tranquil Cove into, hopefully we don't need to use the uh, Legion's End too early, but we'll take a look. Tranquil Cove, we're gonna gain a life. Move on to our opponent. They're thinking about what to play. They have a Dismal Backwater, so they could be either Blue Black, they could be Esper, they could be Saltai. There's a lot of things that they could be. Uh, we drew a Tranquil Cove, so we're going to play that game some more life. Might as well just gain our life while we can, because we're going to play our Water Grave and shock that in. So we're going to take out our two life that we just drew, but we'll be able to get Narsa into play. That's pretty sweet. So we're still at 20. Thank you, Gain Life Lands. Narset with minus and grab ourselves a Teferi. Pretty easy game so far. So they played a Scoured Barons and a Dismal Backwards. Looks like they're Esper. They could be Esper Control, Esper Hero. Not really sure. I know that these three color decks are going to run a lot of tap lands to make sure they have all the colors that they need. But let's see, they might have a Narset of their own. I think what we'll do here, what we should do is probably Othakai to kill it. Then play Teferi so we can draw some cards. We'll see what they pick up with the Narset, but most likely, yeah, there's their own. Hmm. So now we're in a bit of a pickle here. We can Oath of Kaya to kill their Narset, or we can Thought Erasure to take out their Oath of Kaya and just check out the rest of their hand. Let's see what our Narset grabs us, Thought Erasure. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think let's just Thought Erasure since they know we have it. Ooh, they are going way bigger than us. Okay, so they have Liliana, Dreadhorde, General. They only have one more land, though, so this is probably out of the question for a while. They only have one white source, so Basilica Haunt doesn't really matter. We kind of lose to Bolas to set it out pretty bad. And their Oath is going to be able to take our Narset off the table here. Hmm. What to do, what to do. This is a tough one. I think just because we can't beat Bolas' Citadel, we probably take that. Yeah, we'll just take the cards that we can't beat. So Karn, the Great Creator, that's a really good top deck. Uh, I wish it was a land, but, you know, I digress. Enter tap, and Karn can actually go get us either the Pharaoh card or... I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure. So they they can play Teferi, they can play Oath of Kaya to kill our Narset. So looks like they're going to opt with going Teferi. Not too bad, not too bad. Now we could Thought Erasure them next turn. But do we want to get the old Karn Daddy in play? Hmm. So they're leaving Narset at 3, so they don't know, they don't know we have this. Maybe we just... Hmm. Can we just Soren and start ticking up? Then we can buy back some of our stuff later. So if we tick up on Narset, we can put them in a position to have to kill it if they want to minus it. Because we don't really have the lands right now to make Karn as effective as he could be. So yeah, let's just play Soren. They know we have Teferi, so we can do that a little later. So plus, we'll gain some life so that our Citadel will hopefully be awesome next turn, or hopefully in two turns if we draw, if we draw a land here. So Sword's actually at six, which is pretty crazy because it's gonna be really hard to take him off the battlefield. D Spark. Okay, so they drew a D Spark. That's not a big deal because we'd rather have Karn live, to be honest. Uh, the Teferi's not really doing anything. Dang, not a land. Hmm. Liliana. We can't really beat Liliana. So we probably have to Thought Erasure that out of our hand. Can't beat that. Take away your threat. Keep that on top. That sounds good. Now we have to draw a land next turn, which is great. They may Oath of Kyle to kill our Narset. If they draw a white land, they will Basilica Haunt. Looks like they did not draw a land, so they're going to take out our Narset here. Probably minus the fairy to draw a card. Hopefully trying to hit that white source that they need. Although just bounce the, the oath, okay, that's good. 
Hopefully they didn't find a land. They did. They found their white source. So they're going to be playing Basilica Hunt next turn. What do we do here? I think we just play Karn because they can't really stop it. Let's see. Karn minus two. We got three and it can kill with that. Okay. Ooh, it's a tough one. Karn plus. No, I think we just... Uh... Let's go with Enters tapped. I think we just kind of throw Karn under the bus right now. Because we want to go get... What do we want to get here? Probably Meteor Golem. Even though we can't cast it yet. Hmm. Bag of Holding would be actually pretty sweet. Draw a discard into our... What we need. I'm hoping to draw a land next turn. Well, let's see. If we do this, we can we can kind of cut them off that. So let's let's just God Pharaoh's gift right now. Oh, God Pharaoh's statue. See if we can get him to use their oath of Kaya. They probably should use their oath of Kaya. They might Basilica haunt though. That wouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Okay, so they're going to plus Teferi, probably play Basilica Haunt, and then we can probably ditch our Teferi. Okay, so they're not going to play Basilica Haunt. They want to kill Karn first. Gotcha. If we draw land, we're in really good shape because we'll be able to drop Citadel. We did not. That is rough, and we can't do anything about this. Uh, Well, let's just take out their, their Narset so we can Teferi. So this way, next turn, we can hopefully draw Citadel and have 24 life to play with. It doesn't seem like they're running... Well, I guess I took a Citadel, right? Hopefully they don't draw their second Citadel. But I'd like to get this Citadel down before I play the God Pharaoh statue. There's the Haunt. Ditch it to Fairy. So we're, just, we're lined up pretty good here to land this ball off the Citadel and really take over the game with it. They're probably gonna plus this to fairy. Oh, they might just bounce it. Nope. Okay. Oh, well. Hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle. I think we to fairy and minus. Hopefully hitting a land. I'm really sad that they tap both of my white sources. I think. I don't really care if they if they do it again. So yeah, let's just kind of tempo them a little bit. We can even bounce it again, okay. <laughs> it doesn't seem like they're gonna have anything that we can Leech Zend or Tyrant Scorn to be honest, so might as well just use them best we can. Ugh, Liliana, that's tough, that's tough. If we draw a land for Bolas at Citadel on our 26 land deck, we will definitely take over this game. Goodness gracious, we did it. We did it. Sure. Time scoring is fine. Darn it. Okay, well, let's see what they do here. We're close. Very close. So they're probably going to bounce this with Teferi. They have a bounce here and a bounce this the next turn as well. At least this turn when we play Citadel, we don't have to play a land first. We can just play it and then hopefully play a land off the top. Get a little further down in our deck. So if they bounce this, they won't be able to draw a card because of Narset. Okay, Mortify is going to take care of that so they can't, I can't gain more life if they attack on all these walkers, it's fine. Lillian is going to go up to 9, so that's going to be a big problem. We're hoping they don't bounce the Citadel. I mean, they have to, right? They have to. If they don't bounce the Citadel, then what are they doing? I'm a bit confused, because if they don't bounce the Citadel, oh my goodness, they're not. They really want to kill that Narset badly. Well, that's going to come back to bite them real bad in the butt. Really bad. So we'll see what happens here because now we don't even have to replay this. We can just play everything off the top of our deck. That looks good. Um, now we'll kill your, your dude. 
Well, thought erase for you. Get rid of your Basilica haunt. No, we'll get rid of your Enter the God Eternals. Keep that on top. We'll pay four down to ten. To draw a card. The Karn off the top. We'll minus. We will go get Meteor Golem. Pay this off the top. Meteor Golem, your Liliana. Thought Erasure you again, and we'll take your Basilica Haunt. Put that in the bottom. And then we will discard. Or discard this land because we want the Gain Life land to go along with the Oath of Kaya for next turn. We're pretty. We're looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good. I mean, we were in a bad spot, but then all of a sudden, boom, we were back in it. Okay, so they're going to return the golem to my hand so I can cast it again and kill one of their, some more of their stuff. Uh, Volus' Citadel has done extreme amounts of work. We're going to block one. They're going to get us to three, and hopefully they don't have... Okay. They had an Oath of Kyle. It's going to be so sad, but they do not. So let's Oath Kai that, gain some life, gain some life, and hoo -hoo -hoo, got the win. All right, I'm liking that victory. That was pretty sweet. We got to do our thing, take down the Esper Mirror. All right, we're back in for match number two. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're working with here. Our hand is looking pretty good, except we don't have white mana. So maybe a little sketchy of a key, but we do have interaction early if we're against like an aggressive deck. So I think we can draw into our white sources. We have quite a few of them. So yeah, let's go and keep seven. We're on the draw, so we do get to draw first, which is good. We don't get to play first, but we get to draw first. Oh, I really want to see, I really want to see a white source next turn, please. That'd be great. We might be against the mirror again. We'll see. Nope, black and white. Okay, so like a vampire, maybe a aristocrat style deck because all the orzhov cards are pretty good with afterlife you're gonna make a lot of tokens out of those so i think we i think we legion them this and hopefully we snag another one at least we get a idea of what's going on in their hand oh we did get one nice okay so they are like an afterlife tokens deck okay very nice very nice deck is sweet already Red Horde Invasion, that's going to be very difficult to beat. But not impossible. Not impossible. Uh, maybe impossible if we don't draw a white source. That could be a thing. We do have a Tyrant Scorn for this zombie army, at least. They could hold up Raise the Alarm, and they could... Uh, so they still get to play this and Raise the Alarm, so that's pretty sweet. Cruel Celebrant, huh? Goodness. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Hmm. This thing is a problem, and we only have one way to get rid of it, which is our one mortify. Oh, we do have Karn to get stuff too. So, the question is, do we kill the celebrant now, or hold this to kill this? Uh, let's just hold on to it. Ugh, man. All right, let's do this now. To hopefully we can find a white source on top. Not a white source. We may be biting the bullet here by not keeping a white source or mulligan to a white source. We have a lot of white cards in our deck. So let's reorganize this while they do their thing and kill us. Yikes. We may be packing it in a bit early here, kids. We'll kill that guy. We'll take one. They're going to go three, four, five next turn. Yikes! It's our last chance to draw a white source. Come on, deck. Come on! One time, one time, let's go. That's not good. <laughs> Ooh, we did it! We did it! Okay, sweet. We get to take out their zombie man. And then. If we draw another white source, we can do hero into Oath of Kaya. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Um, yikes. Gain a life. I think we need to kill this now because if we don't, we're going to lose our hero and or our uh, elite guard mage. Guard mage? Yeah. Alright, goodbye priest of the forgotten gods. We will not miss you. Go away, go away, go away. Hanging in there with our life gain. Um, two, three, four, down to, down to eight. Gosh, they have another one. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, we'll see if they miss it. This is our only option. Oh, they missed it. Yes. Oh no, it's it's got so many sickness. I'm so dumb. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this sweet play. It's gonna be great. And they're like, nope. That is death touch. Yes, it does. Gotcha. Not ready to trade in my guy just yet. Not ready. We probably Karn this turn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Karn this turn and we get... Oh, that's going to be so tough. Two, three, four, one, two. Uh, we probably do blue, white, black, blue. This will give us a shot to hit a land to play this as well. And we're making blockers so we can not die. There's our land, but it, at least it gains us life. At least it gains us life. So that's a four. That's getting chumped until we can kill it and mortify, I guess. Oh no. <gasps> making their dudes big. Big bad dudes. Actually, like one? Dang. It's rough. Okay. We're doing this, we're gonna just block the big 5-3 zombie, 5-4 zombie. Get hit for the 2-2 two, two, or zombie enforcer. Okay, so that's a land. Four more, four left. Oh, I don't think there's anything that could do that. We probably just mortify this. And then we go get we use Karn to go get Meteor Golem to kill that. Or vice versa. So let's Karn first. Karn's in the building. Minus three, minus two Karn. Go get. I want to get Parhelion so bad. Okay, never mind. That's a thing. Nope, we're going to go get Meteor Golem. Next turn, we're going to Meteor Golem to their face. We will not attack because if we do, then they swing with more than just their one guy. Okay, if they swing at Karn, we're gonna gain some life. So we're there, okay. Uh, Zombie Man's almost at the seven. Oh no, he is at six, oh six. I thought it was seven power. It's six power. This thing has lifelink. Whenever a zombie token you control, it gains lifelink. Pass. Okay. It has gained lifelink now. Goodbye. Make a token. Yep, I know. Crew Celebrant. You're mean. You're nasty. I will chump there so that you don't get a flying blocker. Oh no, not another one. Crud. Eight life is not looking too good. Although, we're gonna Parhelion them. <laughs> Now we have a serious blocker. Very good. No attacks. No attacks. Ooh. Yes, yes, Parhelion. Take over. Take over the game. They're they're down to uh, 15 life. They don't have any flyers either. I think we just won this game. Ooh, gain me some life. They're not swinging? They're swinging at both that car. I believe. I believe the game is now over. They are at 13 life. And it just so happens that the old Parhelion here is going to die in a fire because they have a Mortify. But. Oh, they're letting me attack. No way. 5 plus 4 plus 4. 
is 13. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we did it! Yes! I knew Parhelia was going to come in handy one day, and it did the job! I didn't even think about Mortify until I, until I crewed the stupid thing, so... Thank you for not having Mortify, but oh, it feels good to beat him down with some Parhelion. That thing looks like Thanos' ship, or like, I don't know, I just feel like saluting the thing. It's like, you know what I mean? Oh, it's huge. That's so cool. All right, welcome back in for the third match, and let's go and take a look at our hand. It looks pretty solid. Let's be honest here. We have a Skryland into Thought Erasure into Teferi. I'm liking it. I'm going to keep this. We don't get to go first, but we get to draw first. And you know, I love drawing me some cards. Okay, so Blossoming Sands could be Abzan, could be Green White uh, Tokens, though. I'm leaning more toward the Green White Token side of things. Land? Uh, no, we want, we want lands. We want to play our spells. Don't get caught up with cool looking cards here and there. We want to play our spells. Draw some lands. Paradise Druid, so it could be like Green White Ramp. We will take a look right now, and we will let you know. What's it looking like? Oh, it's uh, it's a Feather deck. So they are a Feather deck that kept no red mana. Interesting. Well, they draw a red mana, they get to play Feather, because red red white. Am I doing anything that hinders this? I can kill that with Legion's End, so that's not a problem. Probably just take Feather. And yeah, we'll keep the land on top. I'll keep the land. That's fine. No red mana, huh? That's a risky business keep for sure. Risky business. They can still play Colossus or Collision. Oh, look at that. Oh, they have red mana through Paradise Druid. Look at that. They do have God's Willing up, so that's not good. That is not the good, unless they play something. That would be epic if they just played something. I could just play straight through it and get the God's Willing out of their hand. We may need to do that. I think we have to sacrifice our Teferi here. They may do this in response and give a pro blue. That is fine. You know what we'll do? We will <laughs> we'll bounce the Paradise Tree so we can draw a card. Oh, I just switched cameras. It like switched scenes on me. It's terrible. Oh my goodness. I'm clicking around like a madman trying to figure out what I'm doing here. So, we played. So, <laughs> okay. So, the Teferi Resolved, they give this Pro Blue. We're going to minus Teferi on their Paradise Tree. Bounce it, draw a card, hopefully another land. Not a land, but it's a good spell. It's a good spell. A fairy is going to bite the dust on this one. Hopefully they don't draw another land. So Define Strike's going to let them scry some more. What they should have done is held priority on their upkeep, Define Strike to scry and then draw a card and hopefully find a red land. So that's probably what they found there. Scry to the top was probably a red source. We'll see, we'll see. 5-4, a little overkill to kill the old Teferi here, but... I'll use Teferi as a game, game 5 here, that's pretty sweet. We're probably going to Legion's End at this turn. Ooh, there's the red, there's the red mana, very nice. There's the Druid, good. Looks good, looks good. Okay, let's just uh, get this out of the way here, Legion's End that. And we'll play our tap land. We could use another Black Source, but at least we get to gain 4 life next turn by playing the Guard Mage and the Tranquil Cove. Although if they don't play anything, we could just bait them into killing Karn with one of their Shocks or Collision Colossus because this will go down to three and it needs a little bit more power to kill with Paradise Druid. So we'll see if they drew a land or a spell. Most likely, I mean, it's hard to tell because they'll probably hold it anyway because they have four lands in play. Since they did that, um. 13 will go to 17. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm. We don't have enough black sources. 
let's uh let's just gain some life to draw a card let's do that so we have a decent blocker if they want to use colossus on this to run this thing over that's fine and then karn will kind of take over because when karn gets a artifact in play you can keep plussing on that artifact to get it to you know beat down pretty good so like a meteor golem turns into like a seven seven craziness now we have the option of either um hero into thought erasure to make some guys some blockers or we can just play triangle cove um into karn hopefully we find some more black sources so that we can possibly do some other cool stuff the dreadhorde arcanist okay that's pretty good both the kaya is a little better so that's probably the play now. We have Hero. This gives it plus two though. So we have we have failed to uh, read the cards correctly. <laughs> so we will take a look at their hand and we'll get rid of that stupid uh, <laughs> collision classes. I forgot that gives it plus two toughness. Hmm. Okay, well. Either way, oh, that kills that kills a flyer. How about that? They probably have a land in hand. Ooh, a shock. Get out of here. Let's keep a land on top. I want the black source. Gain some more life. We're at 18. We're doing pretty good. Um, Oath of Kaya is going to come down and smack this Dreadhorde Arcanist. I don't think they can bring this back unless they have a four toughness on this thing. It's based on toughness or power? Oh, boy. Power, huh? Okay, so you, they get a Defiant Strike. You're gonna hit me for two and draw a card. That's fine. No blocks. Not really worried about it. They have two cards now, which kind of stinks. Another Defined Strike. Okay. Oh, gee. Hopefully, no feather. Okay with that. Alright, so let's uh, Oath of Kai here. Hopefully, they don't have anything to stop this. Good. Gain some life back. Scry, hopefully a black source. Not a black source. Man, this is so tough. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the bottom, hopefully hit a black source, because I wanna play Karn into Citadel and kinda take over the game from there. Although we do have enough, now we can grow, go grab Meteor Golem to take care, of one of, take care of one of their threats. Okay, Ambush. Really looking for the last black source. Scry's on top, so they have a card they want that's on top. We can't play Karn and play another spell, so this thing's gonna hit us for quite a bit of damage here. Unfortunate, but that's what we wanted right there. Perfect. All right, so let's go with minus, and we'll probably go get, Probably get a Meteor Golem because they can't uh, give themselves protection from Meteor Golem because it is a artifact creature. Karn might eat four damage from the 10th District Legionnaire, which is fine, saves me four life. And we get to actually gain some, uh, gain some life in the process, so that's pretty sweet. Go ahead, attack the Karn. Yes, 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 attack the Karn. It's okay, it's safe, just attack the Karn. Stop it. Attack the Karn. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Really do appreciate it. Okay, Season's Growth. Very, very good card in this deck. Land. Okay, so this is going to be dead. Okay. Plus on this. Okay, non-creature. Zero. Gain some life. So this this deck gains a ton of life. We're just clawing back from the, the depths here. Craziness. Whenever you creature enters the battlefield, scry one. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So when you cast a spell that targets a creature, they draw a card. So that that's pretty cool since all their spells do that. <laughs> Hopefully they kill Karn so that I can gain two more life. Sweet. Okay, I'm on board. How much do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. This will be six. Uh, black, 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 black. Okay. We are at 15 life. We'll be at 13 life. 
Maybe we can go get this. We have six life. Yeah, let's, let's just let's go for broke here. We're at thirteen. What do we got? Oh, why why is it like this? Gosh darn it! Get out of here. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. I hate this so much. But why can't I see my deck? This is terrible. So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. I hate that. <laughs> Why is it bug like that? Who knows? Okay, so that's going there. Are they swinging at me? Oh, they're swinging at me. Well, that's not nice. Um, No blocks. I go to seven. That's fine. Seven's good. Um, yeah, we'll play a land from on top. Probably another land. Yeah, see the weird thing about that little bug is I saw my whole deck. Um, try not to really look at it. I, I don't know, I think there's a couple lands in a row there, but... Let's go grab... What do we want to get here? Uh, probably... The statue? Statue seems pretty good. We'll just start stacking statues. Uh, no attacks. We're still at seven. We're still at a decent life total. We'll probably block here, to be honest. It's a little sketchy being at seven because four, five, six, seven. So Colossus could be there. So that's troublesome. Oh, that costs them all their things. So we can not kill it yet. Oh no! We need something. We'll block there on top land play this yeah sure okay so we'll keep one zap that thing this will become a six six oh we'll play the other card we'll go to three but we're able to get a meteor golem off of this one so we're looking pretty good right now get to grab that meteor golem all right, so take care of this. Looking pretty good. We're at three though, a little rough. We get to go get another uh, God Pharaoh statue and I think that locks them out from there. I think we lock them out with that. Okay, growth season is perfect. Because now, minus two to get another statue. All right, we'll play the statue. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, it doesn't lock them out because I'm stupid and I'm stupid and I'm really dumb. No. Not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm a dummy. That's what I think I am. <laughs> it's legendary. I'm so stupid. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> All right, next turn I'm just going to plus and, and I guess <laughs> kill him with, with, with the God Pharaoh statue. Oh, please help me. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my goodness. Hey, we did it. Well, maybe we didn't. We'll see. Aha! We did it. Plus on the old Citadel here. Swing for lethal. Yes, we did it. Yeah, we killed him with a Bolas Citadel after casting the Bolas Citadel. Just, I, I gotta just read these cards a little better. It's a legendary artifact, so I can't play more than one. <laughs> Jesus. Woo, baby, we did it. We won off so many games. This deck is crazy. Let's go over it real quick once more, just so that you guys can just take a look. Mm, breathe it in. It's so, so beautiful. Look at this deck. Oh, it's the best. Karn was unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even describe how great this card was. We got to go get a Bolas of Citadel. We got to find a Parhelion and crush face with it. We got to get a bunch of Meteor Golems and come back from games that we probably shouldn't have came back from and won, to be honest. But man, this deck gains a ton of life too. Four Oath of Kayas, three Guard Mages. I think, how many gain life lands? Four gain life lands? 
eight game life lands. Oh, ho, ho. that's quite a bit. Oh yeah, and we have Enter the God of Charms we never drew. But that's all right. We drew, I think every other card we drew uh, except for this card, but hey, more life gain the better because that kept us in a lot of those games. Like it was crazy, 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 crazy. Um, I think moving forward into rotation, this deck's still going to be a powerhouse. I'm debating on whether or not I want to play it um, when I go to SCG Philly, but uh, Green Black is kind of calling my name. <laughs> Actually, Sultai, because I want to run Garuk and Nissa, Hydroid Crisis, who else? Uh, the Murderous Rider guy, the Hero's Downfall dude. Oh, those cards seem really crazy. So we might go in that route, do like Saltite, like green black with a really small splash of blue for like Krasis and stuff. Or we could just play this deck. I mean, I don't know if I'd run Karns in an actual constructed deck, because then that eats up a bunch of your sideboard slots. But it, it seems possible because man, this thing, this deck does a lot of crazy stuff that I'm really, really enjoying. You get to be kind of controlling on one end and you get to be aggressive and have good finishers and close out the game pretty easily. Sideboard wise, all this stuff was completely useless except for Bolas the Citadel, the God Pharaoh statue, which is legendary. I didn't realize it wasn't legendary, or it was legendary. Um, Meteor Golem was unbelievable, super sweet getting that out of the board, and obviously Parhelion took the game down. I forget what match it was, but we crushed with it. It was so great. So, so, so awesome. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the deck. It was super fun to play. If you want to play it yourself, link down in the description. Go ahead and take a look. Check it out. If you have the cards, go play it. Win some games, get some XP. Just enjoy the power that is Esper Hero with Karn as the backup singer, basically. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you liked the deck or what you would change or what deck you're playing in M20. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, magic is great and so are you. Stay positive and play islands. <laughs>